So, Ferdinand certainly is something. Another film in Blue Sky Studios' catalogue that was nominated for Best Animated Feature next to their first movie, Ice Age. And their last one now that they shut down. The film is based on the book The Story of Ferdinand by Munro Leaf. The movie is about a bull named Ferdinand, voiced by John Cena, who runs away from the barn after his dad gets killed in the bullfighting ring, and meets with a little girl called Nina, who then raises him to be in her home. Then one day, Ferdinand was too big to go to the flower festival, so he couldn't go. However, Ferdinand decides to go anyway to support his owner, but then hijinks ensue, and he gets caught and put back to his original home from when he was a calf. There, he meets a calming goat named Loop, voiced by Kate McKinnon, to be trained to be a bull for fighting, even if he doesn't want to. Here are the awesome points of the movie. I love John Cena's performance as Ferdinand. He portrays the role of a bull that's gentle and friendly really well. Ferdinand is a great protagonist. He's a bull that doesn't want to enter the ring and do bullfighting. The chemistry he has with the other bulls when he's an adult now, while it starts off a little bad, he actually manages to make friends with them and the other bulls. First with Bones, then with Angus, voiced by David Tennant, third with Makina, fourth with Guapo, and finally with Valiente, who used to bully Ferdinand for not wanting to fight, but then when Valiente's horn gets taken off and he gets taken to the chops, Ferdinand rescues him and they work together to save Guapo. Lupe is actually quite funny as well. Kate McKinnon does a hilarious voice for the goat, and she comes across as really supportive. The animation looks really good. The bulls have unique designs to make it easier to identify which bull is which. The buildings in the city makes me feel like going to Spain, which I actually went to years ago. The meat choppers look eerie with the equipment looking dangerous, which gives you the feeling of being in a prison and wanting to escape. I also love how cartoony the animation can be at times. Like in the dance-off between the bulls and the horses was quite entertaining, and the movements are really fluid and lifelike. Some of the supporting characters are more favourable. The three German horse characters are bad and quite annoying, though it was satisfying to see them knocked down during the escape from the barn. I do love the bull characters that Ferdinand befriends throughout the course of the film. It was quite funny when Ferdinand gives Angus a new hairstyle so he can see better, and I liked that afterwards Angus grew a liking to Ferdinand. The three hedgehogs are really likeable as well. In fact, almost the rest of the supporting characters are pretty likeable, and none of them come across as filler characters. Valiente is someone I wanted to hate, but after what he's been through, I'm glad that Ferdinand and Valiente became friends. I also like how they explain that Valiente had a bad father, who also hated the idea of not fighting, which explains why Valiente is what he is. When Ferdinand's dad dies, Valiente's dad becomes a prick about it. That bull was soft, and the soft ones always go down. A family member dies, and you insult me! What the hell is the matter with you anyway? Pardon my French, but you're an asshole! Couldn't have said it better myself, Cameron. I also love the villain of the movie, El Primero, as well. He has the most cartoony movements, and has a lot of egotistical cynicism that shows how much of a scumbag he is. And when he's fighting Ferdinand, it soon becomes a bullfight, but the roles are reversed where the human becomes the charging bull. The story in this movie tends to be mean-spirited towards Ferdinand, sometimes. Like when Ferdinand saves a baby and they're just afraid of him. Yes, he caused some destruction, but he didn't do it on purpose. At the same time, while it does have mean-spirited moments, it does have a satisfying payoff within the climax of the story. A bullfighting in a different way. And in the ending, Ferdinand is back with his owner, and even the other bulls, and Lupe look at the view, showing a non-verbal ending as a great way to end the story. So other than a few characters and the mean-spirited moments, I say Ferdinand is really good. While I do prefer Rio and the Peanuts movie, I like this movie as well, with good characters, great animation, and a decent story. I give Ferdinand a 7 out of 10 with the ribbon of awesomeness. Now let's get a disguise ready, cause we'll be going over the last Blue Sky Studios movie made. Thank mm -hmm. you.